Hi friends! Krista here! Salut tout le monde! C'est Krista! Aujourd'hui, on va faire une collation ensemble. Today, we're gonna make a snack together. We're gonna make pancakes, but in the shape of muffins. And this is something that the whole family can do together, big or small. So, I'm gonna post the recipe uh, as well online, and then we're just gonna get started. So, first things, we have to wash our hands. I've already done that, so I'm not gonna do it in the video. But you wanna wash your hands, soap it all up, and sing happy birthday while you are lathering. That's how long you need to get all of the germs off your hands. Then we have a bowl and a whisk. If you don't have a whisk, that's okay. You can use a fork, spoon, whatever. You're also gonna need a muffin tin. Now I have these fun silicone muffin liners. Uh, if you don't have that, that's fine. We're gonna grease your muffin tin. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna start with our wet ingredients. So we have one cup of milk. I use oat milk because I don't drink dairy. Neither does my husband, but regular milk is fine. We have one egg. Now we're gonna crack in here. And two tablespoons of oil. So this is canola oil. You can use canola, vegetable, sunflower. I wouldn't use olive oil, you can, but it will affect the flavor. Uh, I like canola, it's one of the healthier oils. So we got two tablespoons. So now we have all our wet ingredients. We're gonna whisk it up. Get it good and mixed. And this, everybody can take a turn, do a good whisk. Now see, nice and mixed. Now, we're gonna add our dry ingredients. So I have one cup of flour, pop that in. We're gonna need a half a teaspoon of salt, table salt works. We're gonna need two tablespoons of sugar. One, two. And finally, we're gonna need baking powder. Now this is important, not baking soda. If you mix those up, your, your pancake muffins will not taste good. Baking powder. And we're gonna need two teaspoons of baking powder. One. Two. And then we mix again. So mix it all up. Again, everybody gets a turn. Oh, I forgot to mention, I think I forgot to mention, you need to preheat your oven. So the oven needs to be preheated at 350 degrees because we're gonna bake these pancakes in the muffin tin. So get that oven preheating. Get this batter good and mixed. Beautiful. Lovely. All right, now. My bowl has a little spout on the end, which is very handy. Again, if you don't have that, that's fine. Otherwise, you can take a smaller measuring cup and scoop it out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fill these muffin tins or muffin liners to about half. Now this batter, this recipe, should be enough to make 12 muffins if you fill them halfway. And I'm gonna show you when I'm done what it'll look like. So again, everybody can have a turn, take a scoop, put it in. And we wanna make sure we share all of the parts of the recipe so that everybody can participate. But don't worry, we're not done after this. Come, after this comes the fun part. So we're slowly and carefully pouring it into halfway. Now again, if you've ever done a cooking group with me, you'll know that what I say is, we're not aiming for perfection, we are aiming to eat. So don't worry if you're like, is that half, is that not half? Doesn't matter. More or less, halfway. And then if you have batter left over, that's a good thing. You can just do it stovetop, because this is a regular pancake recipe. So here's the other thing, if you don't have a muffin tin, you don't need to go buy one. Just make these pancakes stovetop. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. Here we are, filled halfway. Now, we get to put on the toppings. So I've chosen a few toppings. 
Got some dry cranberries. So I'm gonna do a few little cranberries and you're just gonna place them on top. I'll show you what it looks like. Don't just send them, they'll sink a little bit, that's fine. I've got some fresh blueberries, fresh and frozen, because, fun fact, I got to pick these last August at a blueberry farm on the South Shore. And it's a very fun thing to do. Whole family could do that together. In August, not now. No blueberries right now. But we're just gonna plop some blueberries in there. Then bananas, yum. So one banana on each. And then, Last, but certainly not least, I've got sprinkles, of course. So, multicolored sprinkles, gotta have those. So we're gonna do a little sploosh of the sprinkles. Chocolate sprinkles. Here we're gonna be a little more generous with the chocolate. And then, to keep it festive, let's do a little red and green together. All right, close those up. Now I'll show you. Look at those buttes, aren't they cute? So we've got our beautiful muffins. I'm gonna check the oven. My oven is preheated, so I'm gonna stick those in. Middle row, and we're gonna bake them to start for 15 minutes. Then we're gonna check them. It might take a little longer, um, and so we're gonna check them at 15 minutes. I'll come back and let you know how it went. Now, we know if we've ever done any kind of activity with Jessica at the library, what is the most important part? The cleanup. So while we're waiting for it to bake, it's the perfect opportunity to clean up the mess we've made. So make sure everybody helps, big or small, to with the dishes. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, guys. So we're gonna check if the muffins are done. I've taken them out of the oven. And I've got this handy thing that's actually called a cake tester. Backwards. Pretty sure I got it at the dollar store. We're gonna poke and see if our muffins are done. Anything on there? Clean. We're good to go. So here are our beautiful muffins. You can take them out of the mold, cut them in half, put a little maple syrup on there, and there's your snack. Now, what's also fun is some of our toppings have disappeared. So it can be a surprise. Which one are you gonna get? Enjoy, friends.